Hey, it's the Insane Gamers, and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Today, I've got a match against somebody who was in my friends list, and I really apologize if this is you and I don't know it and you're watching this video right now, let me know in the uh, comments because I kind of lose track of everybody's in-game names and then I completely forget who I added. But anyway, this was an awesome battle, and uh, I hatched... I was breeding uh, Star Raptors and I hatched a shiny one! Oh my god, it was so cool looking! I was so excited about that. So this is a legit shiny Star Raptor. I named it Concord. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna leave with a Cabalion. Obviously, this thing is really physically defensive. I don't think I can take it out with a close combat. And I'm Choice Scarf, so I'm just gonna U-turn out, go into Entei. You know, I'm thinking maybe he'll either set up the rocks, or he'll just use the fighting attack, or whatever. Whatever it wants to do, I'm pretty sure Entei can take it, and I can scare it out. But he goes for the Volt Switch, which I didn't even know it could learn. Um, I knew that it could go, like, special, but I did not know it could get the Volt Switch, so that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that at all. But anyway, Entei is in here now, looking fierce, looking something fierce. It's that shiny Entei. Entei got <laughs> a really, really funny move in 6th gen, which we'll touch on later, but anyway, I'm gonna switch Entei out and go into my heart attack, and, um, Alamomola is an absolute monster. It's like the Blissey for physical attacks. I love this thing. It's so annoying and so hard to take down with Regenerator, but I'm gonna tank up that Water Pulse very nicely, because I resist it. I'm assuming this guy's either, like, Scarfed or Specs, since a lot of people like to put Choice Specs on this thing, because when it has Choice Specs with that ability it has, it, it hits like a truck. But anyway, here I make an awesome prediction uh, that he's going to go out to his Rose Raid, and I was 100% correct, so I switched into Concord, and I was like, yes, free kill for me. That was a very good move on my part, I have to say. So Rose Raid is out of the way, no Toxic Spikes, no whatever the heck was going to do, Sleep Powder, you know, shenanigans. I don't know what Rose Raid does, actually, I do know what it does, but it's not going to do it now, so that's good. Excellent work, Concord. Uh, anyway, he's going to go back into Star Swirl now and scare me out. I, um... Still not sure what he's gonna do. I mean, I've seen the Vault Switch, but I don't really know what else this thing can learn. I know it can get Stealth Rocks, though, so I'm just gonna go into the Terminator right now. Uh, hoping that maybe he'll go for the Volt Switch again and that he's Choice Specs or something. Uh, but he just, he does go for the Stealth Rock. And I stay in thinking, you know, maybe he'll have close combat. I don't, I don't really, still don't know what it's gonna do. But unfortunately, uh, ow, <laughs> I've just been terminated by Focus Blast. Hasta la vista, baby. That's it. Steelix is done. So that kind of sucked. I, I thought he would have close combat, which I was going to live. But now I don't have anything to wall this. Like, I, I really don't have much of an answer to this thing. It can pretty much kill everybody on my team. So I don't really have a choice here. I gotta go out to Testosterone. And, um... I'm pretty sure I can, like, force him to use a Steel-type move, Flash Cannon. I know I can take it, because Mega Gardevoir is an absolute monster, tank-wise. And uh, I can just take him out with a Moon Blast. So, yeah, he's gonna stay in, go for the Flash Cannon. That's really good, because I really need to get this thing out of the way. Now, I am trying to do that, that, that one strategy with, sh with Shmel Shell Smash and, like, Smash Passing the Gardevoir. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get to uh, pull it off this match either, which really sucks, because I'm still waiting to sweep somebody with it. I got it I got it all set up one time, got it all set up, then got blocked by a Focus Sash, and I was so mad about that. But anyway, in comes the awesome Chinchilla thing. I freaking love this Pokemon. It's so cool. It's like it's like the next Ambipom. It's awesome. But I go into Heart Attack, because like I said, I can pretty much take anything from this, and its tail slaps are doing a lot. And then I see it has Technician. So I'm like, okay, that's why its tail slaps are like destroying me. And I know that I can pretty much take anything, even if it has bullet seed, it's not going to hit five times. So I'm just going to stay in here, and uh, I'm going to throw up a wish. Because, uh, just scout, I can always pass it to somebody. That's another advantage about having Regenerator, because you can throw a wish up and then switch out, pass a wish, and still get health back on Alamomola. It is literally the most annoying Pokemon ever. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, go for the wishes, he goes back into the Clod, sir. Uh, now, of course, I don't really have anything to switch into this, either, because uh, Mega Gardevoir is almost dead. It's probably going to die to an attack, so I'm just going to stay in Toxic and hope that I can live whatever the heck it's going to do. Probably Dark Pulse, Aura Sphere, I think that's the kind of stuff this thing does. Dragon Pulse, I know it can get. You know, all those pulsing moves. Anyway, I take the Dark Pulse, 
Okay, I mean, I live it, so that's enough, right? And strangely, I outsped it, so I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe he must be like modest choice specs or something. I don't really know what that thing's speed is like, but for whatever reason, I'm faster than it. So he can't flinch me with Dark Pulse, which is great. So I can just sit in here all day and wish. But he goes into the monster, the cupcake, the amazing cupcake thing. Beanie is now sitting on my chair. And she's getting in a way. Move. Oh my god. Please, Beanie. Please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry, there's a giant dog-shaped lump uh, blocking me now. But um, anyway, so the amazing cupcake is here. Ladies and gentlemen, the cupcake is going to belly drum. Because I know that's what the cupcake does. And so I actually have seen it uh, a couple in a couple battles now. Um, but I just go into Entei because I can resist the play rough. And even at plus six, I'm pretty sure I can take it, because I'm going to get back to full health from that wish. And uh, there's really not much else that can take this cupcake on. I mean, once it gets plus six, it's actually pretty threatening. Believe it or not, it is actually pretty dang threatening. But uh, he can't go for the play rough, really, because he is probably not going to kill me. So he just goes for the thief, and that doesn't kill me either. It's unstabbed. I mean, he's at plus six, but, you know, he's a freaking cupcake. Like, what do you expect a cupcake to do anyway to a giant, um... Whatever the heck Entei's supposed to be. Dog. Beast. Whatever. Anyway, Entei gets Sacred Fire now. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Like, you thought I had bad luck with Scald Burn? Well, just get ready for my terrible luck with Sacred Fire Burn. Like, oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, in comes the Chinchilla. I'm just gonna go for the E-Speed just to drop its health, because I see it as Life Orb, and it's gonna wear itself down eventually. So he's gonna Tail Slap me and gonna die, whatever, you know. Uh, Entei, I don't really need that much anymore. Now, this guy does have a Pokemon on his team, which I've been fearing the whole time, and we haven't seen it yet, and that's Latias, and I am absolutely terrified of it. Like, I can't even do anything to it. I've got a UU team, and he's got a mostly UU team, except for Latias, which is OU, and just kind of random, but... Uh, it's there and it's a big threat. So I go into Aquafina and <laughs> I cross my fingers that he'll only hit three times with the tail slap. And he does. And I get the shell smash off with like three hit points. I'm like, wow, that was actually really, really lucky. So I've got the shell smash now and I've got the potential to one shot Latias with Ice Beam and just sweep out his team here. So this is a really good situation for me. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam because I'm thinking maybe he'll switch out to something to, to, you know, to resist the water type attack and I thought that might be Latio. So I just go for the Ice Beam, in comes the Claw Cannon, and it's not going to take it too well. So I'm pretty sure I've got the Hydro Pump and after the poison damage, I'm pretty sure the Hydro Pump is going to kill it because I'm at plus two and freaking Gorbis is a powerhouse. But of course, that's what I get for running those low accuracy moves, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, that makes me so mad when moves like that miss. It's like, it's crunch time, ready to go, gonna win. Nope, you're gonna miss. That happens a lot more often than you might think. But anyway, I've still got Concord here, so I've still got one big powerhouse Pokemon. This is a reckless um, Concord, a reckless Staraptor, so that Brave Bird is going to absolutely decimate anything that gets hit by it. I mean, it is powerful. So, that's obviously going to go down. And, um, <clears throat> in comes the Latias now. Now, I'm not expecting to be able to one-hit KO it, but I think that I can maybe bring it down to the yellow with a Brave Bird. I know that Latias special is in, you know, it's special defense, not really physical. So, Brave Bird hits, does a lot more than I was thinking it would. Like, holy crap, that absolutely destroyed it. That's what, that's the power of legit shiny Star Raptor, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I see he's got the T-Bolt. So at that point, I, I, I think I'm pretty much screwed now, because I've only got Alamomola and an almost dead Gardevoir, but I'm at full health, so I'm hoping maybe I can take a Thunderbolt. You never know. I uh, don't think Scald is going to kill it, because Alamomola's special attack is absolute poopy. So I would have to rely on getting a burn, and we all know that's not going to happen. So I go for the Toxic this turn, because I, I th after two turns, I know Toxic's going to kill it, and I have Protect. So, I have to try to get lucky here. Um, he paralyzes me, of course. I mean, <laughs> you know, why not throw the paralysis on there just because? Um, but it's really a non-factor. It didn't actually paralyze me, so it, it didn't really make much difference. It's just the fact of the matter that, you know, come on. So, I'm going to go for the Protect this turn. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to wait for this poison to wear him down a little bit. Um, this Latias had me absolutely crapping myself for the entire game. Like, I was like, when is he going to send it in? 
Uh, what's it gonna do? It's gonna sub and calm mine. Then I'm gonna die because I can't kill the Latias with anything. But, um, I'm hoping that Alamomola can pull it out for me here. I'm gonna double protect. All, it's a 50% chance. If I get the protect, I win. If I don't, I lose. And unfortunately, I, uh, I rolled the dice and, uh, rolled low, so I didn't, uh, didn't get the second protect, which kinda sucks. So, um, Alamomola's gotta go down. But, then again, so is Ladia, so, at least the plan sort of worked there. But, uh, unfortunately for me, he's still got the Chinchilla, and I've got the low-health Gardevoir, and obviously he's gonna outspeed me. But, there's a twist! If you remember, his Chinchilla had Life Orb, and it's also at low health. Um, I kind of wish I was able to get Stealth Rocks up this game, like, that would have completely changed it, like, wow. But, unfortunately, you, you know, <laughs> Steelix got absolutely exploded. But, uh, anyway, he's just gonna go for the Thief, take me out, and then die to Life Orb. So, I guess in a way you could call this battle a tie. I mean, I guess technically he won because he died from Life Orb recoil, but it was still very close, and it was still a very exciting battle. It was a very good one. So, like I said, if this is you and you're watching this video, let me know so I can link your stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed this battle, and I will see you guys next time.